Welcome back to Bevy Live. I'm Laurie, your host here from the fabulous island of Isla. No surprises guessing where I am today. It is Ardbeg Day. Very excited to see what the folks at Ardbeg have got up their sleeves. Known for being experimental, I personally can't wait to see what this year's release is all about. Right then, delighted to be not only in a Dunnage warehouse, not only at Ardbeg, but with the man himself, Colin, the silly manager at Ardbeg. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. And a pleasure. Great to see you and welcome. Yeah. Welcome into the beautiful surroundings of Warehouse it's, 3. I mean, it's, it's like whiskey heaven. It's 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 atmosphere, good. everything about it is perfect. <laughs> um, so today we're very, very excited to be talking about a new Ardbeg. This is Heavy Vapours. What can you yeah. tell us about it? Um, Heavy Vapours is our a committee and festival release. Yeah. So we do uh, annually. We have well, we have the Ardbeg Committee. Yeah. Um, over God, there's over well over two hundred thousand members worldwide of the. And committee. This is kind of like a community fan club. Yeah, so to, it's it's our loyal fans. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ardbeg uh, people who love Ardbeg and get into Ardbeg tend to be really passionate. As a lot yeah. of the Isla whiskies here mm, are, but yeah. especially uh, with Ardbeg. And what we see with the committee is we started it because we never wanted the doors to close again mm. because yeah. Ardbeg had shut through yeah. the eighties. So the committee was founded oh, way back two thousand and it's sort of grown and yeah, grown and as part of being in the committee you can get an opportunity to purchase okay. certain bottles and mm. uh, one is the committee release we do which then will go to mm. our festival release sure. um so that is heavy vapors this year yeah and, and this is what's the inspiration behind it what's the what's the story of well we like playing about and we mm, quite like yeah. innovation so we've got um We've done various things in the past. So last year okay. we we did Ardcore, which was a sort of front end innovation where we'd change the malt type to okay. use um, yeah. black malt, like mm. really heavily roasted sure. malt. And, and we've played a bit with casks in the past. Yeah. We've really gone into the distillery and torn things up with heavy vapors because Ardbeg on our spirit stills, uh, although when this was made, it was a spirit still because okay. we now have two spirit stills okay. at the time. Yep, yep. Uh, we had one and um, we have a purifier. So sitting mm. on a, a slightly ascending line arm, the line mm. arm from the still to the condenser sits at a, a three degree okay. angle. Okay. Um, and we have this purifier, this chamber that comes off it into sort of a three inch copper pipe that feeds yeah. back into the okay. still, which is all about promoting reflux and yep. lightening the spirit yeah. essentially. We done away with it. We we blocked it off. Yeah, quite hard to do because the fans are big when they were walking around. <laughs> thought something's not right here. Mm. But we disconnected it, and the okay. whole idea was to really push a sort of big and chunky spirit. Mm. Try to really these very sort of light, fragrant floral notes are sort of damped down. Okay. Our begs this amazing balance sure. uh, of peaty, smoky, and these citrusy, fruity, herbal notes. Yeah. And it was really to try and push it more towards the heavier, oily yeah. notes, so it's quite essentially. Sort of raw and unfiltered. And maybe a bit like our beg sometimes. Yeah, bit, yeah. yeah. We, we always aim for a, an amazing balance spirit. Mm, and and, yeah. and it, it is, I think, we mash really heavily peated malt here. Okay. But you're ending up with this incredible liquid about balance and by take the purifier such a key part of that yeah, yeah. promoting that reflux and lots of copper contact to sure. lighten essentially promote your um your your more volatile estery notes that okay. are going to you anything sort of heavy oil fusel oils are going to fall back yeah. in that purifier yeah, yeah, back yeah. into the still yeah, yeah. not now we're trying to eke them through yeah. to heavy up the spirit yeah. bit. is this kind of obviously in the past you say you've done fairly experimental things i remember um Fermutation, whereas Fermut the extra long fermentation. Yeah, long now that was accidental innovation. Yeah. That's part of the magic as well, because fermutation was we had a boiler breakdown and we just let the wash go. We just let right. it ferment, okay. ferment three weeks. And so you got, got these funky, um, estuary, like, kind of weird, lots of yeah. lactobacillus and sour notes. But it was yeah. like it was it was zesty. Mm. It had a really sort of yeah. like lemon zest, powerful lemon zest note yeah. to it. So. We, but we've always liked to lay down spirit and play about because yeah. um, you know we're we're pretty limited to what we can do and we've got mm. to make sure we fall within the the laws of the Scotch yeah, Whisky Association who we work closely with. But 
we want to try and innovate mm. and try different things. But it's always got to be liquid lead. It's always got sure. to be something that people are interested in and want to try and there's a story behind. Yeah. So. And the quality is always got to stay. Yeah. You wouldn't do an experiment just for the sake of an experiment. You've, well, the, well, I, mean, I think <laughs> we, we, but yeah. we like people yeah. to discuss. And yeah. again, it falls into being part of the committee is a mm. lot of the time it's to discuss. And, um, you know, we've been at events recently uh, where it is, it's a great open topic, yeah, so we'll maybe yeah. be showing off some of the new releases and heavy vapours, mm. and uh, we just want people talking, saying, right, yeah. that is quite interesting, or what do you think? Now, everyone might not be their favourite yeah. Ardbeg, but as long as it's getting good conversation yeah, I think a lot of Obviously, you know, these days, there's a lot of distilleries, there's a lot of whiskies being produced, yeah. and I think, you know, there's, I argue there's not so much as a, no such thing as a bad whiskey yeah. these days, but the things that excite me are things that are, are new not yeah. necessarily things that are perfectly aligned to my personal palate yeah. but some a flavor profile that i've never experienced before that's the stuff that i definitely is that sort of the thinking yeah. behind yeah because i mean the, the purifier has been on mm. the Ardbeg spirit still yep. now stills um since the mid 60s mm. and, and, and uh, there's you could go delve back into the archives but yeah. essentially what they thought was to try and you know, we've got quite tall still, so we're going to get quite a, yeah. a good bit of natural reflux yeah. anyway and lots of copper contact, but they just felt just to lighten it, just to sort mm. of, uh, you know, give it the, some more of that sort of sweetness and these citrusy notes, yeah. let's put in a purifier. And there's yeah. only, I think there's less than 10 distilleries in Scotland with purifiers, so okay. um, it's a big part of our big, but yeah, like when we sit round a table with Whiskey Creation with Dr. Mm. Dr. Bill Lumsden yeah. and and Gillian and, and his team will sort of sit around and say, right, what can be done? Sure. What what? So yeah. we're laying down stock now or this year, thinking way ahead because yeah. we like to give it plenty of time to to, to have some time yeah. in the wood as well. Fabulous. Well, that's quite quite a build up. I think next thing, should we give it a try? Yeah, I'll let you do the honours. Definitely. Um, very very excited to, this, to try this. As you say, this is the committee release, which is is it generally a slightly higher strength. It is indeed. Than yeah. The non committee release. Yeah. So the general release is fit. This is fifty point two percent. And the the festival release tends to be slightly to okay. slightly lower in strength. Yeah. Now there is there is no age statement on the bottle. Yeah. Um, what we've also done with this is you'll see it's quite light in colour mm. because we want to promote the the character. We want to try and allow people to taste that difference yeah. of the spirit. Yeah. And clearly, the longer you're in the wood and the more active the wood, you're going to soften down yeah. that difference. So we used a lot of refill uh, American mm. oak. Um, and you can see we don't add colour to our bag. We never yeah. add colour to our bag. So it's, it's it's quite light. But um, yeah, it's, it looks great. As you say, the, you know, the whole point of this bottle, I suppose, is to demonstrate the difference the purifier makes. Yeah, so yeah. if you're you know, sticking it in, First full sherry octaves. First full sherry for 10 yeah, years, it's pointless. not really going to work. Yeah, so uh, yeah. yeah, it was, and again, that's all got to be thought through when we're laying mm. down the spirit. Yeah. Um, a, a good number in terms of, of, yeah, I feel the age statement issue is becoming, less, more people are understanding that it's not a yeah. hallmark of quality, as you know, it's relevant, but yeah. it's not the deal and end all. I know, and young art begs have always worked quite well. Mm. And um, so, you know, our, our youngest whiskey, well, actually, we don't yeah. put an age statement on right. it, but the wee beastie, we stamp the five year yeah, on it as, yeah. uh, as to show this is young art big. Yeah. I mean, this is this is older than that, but we always keep away from the age yeah. statements because it's always about a story around the liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. Cool. Well, yeah, I see lovely light colour, which is refreshing on the yeah. nose. We're seeing that sort of hallmark art bag coming through already, it, is it? But, but it, it is, but I, I do think there's a. You, know, you get like the. The citrusy note, but I think mm. there's a much more uh, pronounced, a uh, sort of uh, like a green, slightly mm. vegetable note. Yeah, um, like mossy. Almost. Yeah, yeah, and there's just, but I mean that citrus notes are there because mm. you're you're still going to get your light estuary notes yep. going in there. So that sort of lime, you know, those citrus notes we get, so it's like appley note to it. But there's definitely a like a cigar ash or a real yeah. sort of. So there's a rich note there, a sort of heavier note that we'd probably yeah, normally not, expect with our spirit. Yeah. Yeah, not that really kind of distinctive TCP ID note you sometimes get with yeah. some Isle of Malts, but it, it is that sort of almost yeah. ashy bonfire yeah, you, you, kind of wispiness. You, you, again, it depends quite often on the wood types. So sometimes mm. we do, with, with some of the phenols or notes, we'll give you the like a medicinal yeah. thing, but yeah. there's maybe a wee bit of that in there. But again, there's that a slight brininess, but 
There is, there's like an add there, like an ashy, yeah. maybe a slightly oiliness to it. It is lovely. And I think the strength as well, for something, for a spirit as complex as our big, I think it, you know, at 40%, it might not, it might work, it might be okay, but at this strength, it doesn't feel yeah too strong i think it allows the no we the and that's again design. to do a lot with the, the balance that we, we we tend to see with our big so mm. it's interesting that that has come right yeah, through yeah. even with, with but you know we're knocking out the purifier yeah. there's still there is still good but great balance yeah it's absolutely we'll, we'll give that a tip well yeah, slams, slams. thanks for having us slams, delighted to be here Yeah, coats, you get everything. <laughs> I always say with Ardbeg, you always get such a great mouthfeel. Oh, this lovely, yeah, yeah. great coating. But a lovely peppery tinge mm. on the tip of the yeah. tongue there, but I definitely, I, I get a sort of a, a green, like a wee bit of sort mm. of green pepper or something. I just yeah. think there's quite a, a wee vegetal note to it, but the bit surrounded by, yeah. like again, that classic Ardbeg wood ash, but they're really good. It's got some good oily mouthfeel, that, I think, to that. As, in terms of mouthfeel, that is, it's been a long time since I've had a whiskey that has that instant. I know. You want to go, mouthfeel. you know, yeah. it's never thin, you know, it's mm -hmm. always, and again, it's, it's, it's our, our bag's always unchill filtered as well, yep. so it just helps yeah, yeah. with that uh, mouth coating. But, you know, you know you've drank an Ardbeg when you're mm -hmm. still feeling it in the mouth hours yeah, later. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. Would you say that's, you know, maybe one of the things Ardbeg is most kind of famous for, that lingering finish the fact that you can have a sip and as you say half an hour later you can still there's still layers and layers of ah. flavor coming through yeah yeah, yeah. it's um it's definitely um, there's a um there is this, uh, just uh we talk quite often about like our do you know there's some great whiskey there's mm. some great notes but we talk quite often about tarry rope you yeah, know like from yeah, old yeah. ships and there is just it's a, on the Ten-year-old label, it's a isn't classic, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah tarry yeah. rope. But there is that sort of. I just think that it's 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 a definitely like a different smoke. I think where heavy vapors, not so much of the the wood ash. I don't know if it's just like you know embers or something. It's just a, it's it's got like a real a real depth to it. Yeah. I think, the smoke. It's quite interesting. The purifier is just it's not a big bit of kit. Yeah, but it just shows. Essentially, it's heightening the still it's allowing yeah. more reflux so it's yeah. almost like you're 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 you're, hi you're adding height to the okay. still and by removing it we've dumped everything yeah. down we've shortened it and, and it does have just it's a bit oiliness bit chunkier to yeah, it, yeah. You know, a bit more thing. with obviously it's delicious as it is as i say at the strength it doesn't feel too strong with a touch of water generally what does that well, well, do for our bags well we'd always recommend we, we it's, it's always an interesting thing with the water because, I mean, when we are putting whiskies together, mm. uh, we'll tend to dilute everything. Or if we're nosing yeah. new make off the stills, we'll yeah. bring everything down to 20% yeah. because it yeah. doesn't obviously blind your, your nose. And yeah. um, but you don't want to be drinking whiskey at 20%. You can, yeah, yeah. but, you know, it tends to just, you know, you don't get anything like the same mouthfeel to it. But what we would always say is try nose it and try it neat. Mm. Add a wee bit of water because this is 50.2. Yep. Let me just stick a wee bit more in that. And let's have a wee nose. Yeah, it kind of calms it down a little bit, but there's still still a lot there. Um, yeah, there's, I, 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 yeah, there's, there's maybe more of the, again, it's quite funny sometimes when you add like water tart bag mm. because the first sort of um, some of these smoky notes you might yep. get are sort of back. I think yep. with that, that goes right back to distillery character. That is, you, you, you're you you're getting low bags of almost the, the sort of new make character okay. or what we would yeah. call the distillery character. Sure. You get a lot of that in there. And that just shows that when we've held this in cask, we wanted to tone down the interaction from the mm. wood to really promote what the spirit was. And there is a an oiliness to it like there's like an i think there's sort of like an apple note but there's a a good like a good maritime note mm. to that a sort of briny sort of i don't know barbecued meat yeah. or smoked bacon and again that's just trying to promote yeah, some yeah, of these yeah. heavier notes coming yeah. through I mean, as with a lot of whiskies it's it's changed the complexion of it slightly but oh, it's, okay. it's yeah it's like even 
two whiskies and one hand I know. water. But it's no, and that's the great thing about whiskey. It's, it's a conversation. So mm. to be here tasting it, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. On the pile, I mean, it's still got, you know, it's not flat. It's not one dimensional with water. It's still got so much oomph to it. Um, yeah, it's mm. still unmistakably Ardbeg, I think. Even yeah, there's yeah, good sweetness to it still. Mm. Dark chocolate mouthfeel to it, but th there is definitely I got a zing to it and a yeah. peppery and you know a good bit of spice to it yeah, as well. Absolutely. So, no, well, absolutely delicious drum, and I think it's as we said before, so it encapsulates Ardbeg's philosophy: experimental, but always having quality flavour at the yeah. forefront. So yeah, thanks very Cheers. much again for having us along, and yeah, slash. Slash. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. Right, that brings Ardbeg Day to a close and Isla Festival 2023 to a close as well. Thank you so much for joining us on Bevy Live. It's been a pleasure and hopefully catch you all very, very soon. Thank you. <laughs>